Uh, who invented the laser? Well, you'd say Einstein, without stimulated emission, it wouldn't have worked. Without the concept, Towns for demonstrating it physically, what, what it took to, to build a laser, namely a uh, inverted population in a resonant cavity would, would cause optical emission. And then Maimon was the first one who, who broke through the, the, uh, the, the uh, barrier of, of spontaneous emission by using pulse flash lamps. And uh, then we have this interesting thing, if you want to go in the history of a man who, who made a tube and put two mirrors on the end and said he invented the laser, and that's the Gordon Gould. This is a bare hel helium neon laser, and there is a tube in the center which has the helium and the neon gas. There are mirror reflectors on both ends, one which is leaky on this end so the light can come out, but mainly it will bounce back and forth between the two mirrors. There's some ballast resistors here to maintain the high voltage and limit the current, and we'll go ahead and turn it on. The thing that attracted me to lasers was right away when I first learned how lasers work. And if you're familiar with how lasers work, it's just you know right up an alley of a pervert. You excite a molecule by pumping, and then after a stimulated emission, you relax the molecule. And so this was a great analogy for me, and I said, this is the field I want to be in. <laughs> One after another, all three are destroyed. The tactical high energy laser continues to make history, reliably destroying threats for which there has never been any defense. Okay, here we have a purple balloon inside a transparent balloon and a powerful green laser, about 100 milliwatts, that uh, some friend of mine ordered off eBay from the Chinese. I would never own such a dangerous laser as this. And uh, uh, if you doubt that this can cause damage to your eyeballs, then watch that. Two, one, shot. So you can see eight of the beams. They propagate through the first amplifier right here. Now they inject it into this cavity, propagate through the amplifier once and twice. The polarization has been switched, so now they are trapped. Now the beams come back third time, fourth time through the cavity. Now you're switching polarization back, so they eject it, right? Now they go in this last spatial filter where they cross through a pinhole right here where you clean the beam. And then they transport to the target chamber. You split, split those eight beams in two quarts of four beams. One goes up, one goes down. And the same thing happens for 48 of those quarts. Then just before the chamber, you're converting them to ultraviolet light and all beams converge on the target and you shoot them into this gold can just at the wall, you heat up the wall and in a couple of billions of seconds you produce x-rays and the x-rays start heating the capsule and so it starts flowing off at very high speed like a rocket compresses the fuel and then you reach the right condition it will just blow up and ideally it will produce 10 to 100 times more energy than you put in <laughs>